Should plastic bags be banned? Answer. A rare novelty in the 70s, plastic bags are now omnipresent global products, which are present in almost every aspect of modern life, and without them, our lives would not be the same. However, such single-use bags have latterly been the target of a global crackdown. Becoming a scapegoat for the massive problem of plastic-related pollution, those bags are now considered a particular scourge or an environmental evil because of the havoc that plastic waste wreaks. This has led to a global movement to restrict their use, and in some cases, calls for their blanket ban. While public debate over plastic bag bans often devolves into emotional pleas to save the earth or preserve marine life, a little reason and perspective is in order. To embark with imposing an outright ban on plastic bags is inadvisable due to the positive advantages they bring. First of all. Plastics are renowned for their durability and long lifespan. They could sit in a landfill for 1,000 years, rendering them a great asset because they can be reused almost endlessly with the passing of time. The second notable competitive edge of plastic bags over their other rivals is their water resistance feature. Which is particularly useful when it comes to accommodating wet goods, for example, frozen seafood or soup. These bags also do consumers a great service in that they take up minimal space due to their compact size and light weight, thus enhancing their mobility and portability. Last but not least. No other foot loose, and plastic-free alternatives can compare to the affordability of these versatile products, which have gained favor from people from all walks of life, making them the bestseller in many nations. To exemplify, currently in Vietnam, a kilogram of plastic bags is readily available at a price of about. Ten thousand to twelve thousand VND, which doubtlessly woos more buyers as opposed to fifty thousand to one hundred thousand VND for the same proportion of their environmentally friendly counterparts. In addition, the impracticality of a prohibition on plastic bags is attributable to the insurmountable challenges. Facing the manufacturers in the pursuit of optimal substitutes, specifically, paper bags are the very epitome of such ineffective and inefficient replacements, which, due to their great water absorbency, often fail dismally to contain the corresponding amount of goods easily accommodated by their plastic equivalents. This is not to mention the massive carbon footprints left during their making, because, according to the findings of a comprehensive research published in 2018 by an Australian state government agency, more energy is required to produce and transport paper containers. Another suggestion is biodegradable plastic bags made from, for for example.、Um, Vegetable starch, the exorbitant price of which, nonetheless, provenly discourages consumers from opting for them. This is coupled with the fact that these items do not even live up to their very ecologically benign nature. As I have still had a load of these bags sitting in the bottom of at the bottom of my allotment after five years. The final option is reusable cotton bags, which have been scientifically proven again to retain an overwhelming 
residue, residue of bacteria. Res residue of bacteria. For instance, E. coli and Salmonella, the notorious culprits of such intestinal infectious infectious diseases such as bloody diarrhea and gastroenteritis. To recapitulate, I opine that the imprudent act of prohibiting plastic bags is no different from putting a finger on a spigot at a time when we need to suppress. The tidal wave, taking into consideration of the well-documented merits of plastic shopping bags and the dearth of practical and long-term alternative commodities, hence it is high time governments collaborated with enterprises all over the world, together coming up with a wider array of actionable public policies, and. Enhancing recycling infrastructure and technology to address these issues. For the time being, I believe, quality tote bags and shopping carts may possibly be the best substitute grocery containers for shoppers. And that is, and that is the end of my answer.